Hello viewers, welcome to a new Darkest Star Hot Savion game video. Today I'm going to be playing the new World Order 2 mod. And if you could have guessed by the title of this video, I'm going to be playing as friends, not this one, the wishy one. A subscriber slash longtime fan slash buddy or pal Varian on Discord suggested that I retake all of mainland friends as wishy friends in the 1941 scenario. And I figured, why not attempt it? It sounds like a fun challenge. I'm going to be using these settings, which is honestly the default by this point. So if you guys like my content, leave a like and subscribe to the channel, it motivates me to make much more of it, and without wasting any more time, let's jump straight into the video. Okay, for starters, our situation isn't really too good. Half of our country is gone, our army isn't particularly impressive, our industry, eh. But luckily what we do have are colonies and a few troops scattered around them, which I will bring back to the mainland. So technology-wise what I'm going to do is completely abandon this doctrine and go mobility focus, because it's just horrible. Obviously this is a lot of researching to do, but I say it's very necessary. I'm also going to get this technology, because some transport ships can't reach a few troops, and I need all the men I can get. What we're definitely going to do is enact two-year conscription, because I need the extra manpower for a few troops. Okay, obviously after Japan Pearl Harbor, this will give me quite a bit of a chance to fight the Germans, since USA will join. Well, I've produced a few militia units, and I think that I'm kind of ready to take the Germans on. So the best way to go about this is joining the Allies. Huh, okay, maybe they'll accept. No? Ah, good. They've accepted. So let's start by enacting general mobilization, then buying war bonds, enacting war propaganda, and investing into research. Not bad. So my plan here is to encircle them in Bordeaux as fast as possible. Well, it's kind of working, but not without its bumps in the road. I also managed to overrun some German infantry divisions, which is always useful. Ah, beautiful, another accidental encirclement over here. I'm going to be using the units from Free France also, because um, I need all the help I can get here. Wow, I just can't believe that this worked. I literally used my motorized to drive around the Germans <laughs> and I encircled them. This is not so bad so far. You know, the AI is pretty weird. Not quite sure what they're doing here, but I like it. Well, I also liberate Brittany, so that's definitely very big as well. And the Germans on the Eastern Front are not doing particularly well, with Papa Stalin liberating them slowly and surely, and the Brits choosing the Balkans at the south underbelly instead of Italy. Well, this definitely looks like a reverse D-Day. I'm also at the gates of Paris by the end of 1942, so I'd say I'm doing extremely well. Oh, impressive. I got a giant amount of new leaders for some other reason. I guess it has something to do with me liberating Paris finally. Yeah, the Germans have just collapsed by 1943. There's just nothing that they can do against me here anymore. We have recovered all mainland France, so that's nice. But let's push for more, since Germany isn't the only country that attacked me after all. Well, after taking Rome, Italy should collapse at any moment now. Us. I unfortunately missed the event where I annexed Italy, but <laughs> here you go. Oh beautiful, we can move the capital now. Germany has been annexed by the Soviet Union. Unfortunately, we didn't get to Berlin first, but what we did acquire are more countries within the Balkans, so the Iron Curtain won't be as mighty as it was in our timeline. I also did get Italy, parts of Belgium, and Germany, also Luxembourg, so that's huge. Now what I am also going to do is liberate a few puppets here and there. Well, this, this definitely kind of looks sad. <laughs> I liberated Italy, Slovenia, a whole one province in Germany, Flanders and Luxembourg. Oh, and also Albania. Ooh, I got the post-war government and a few extra divisions here. No! Petain, where'd you go? Well, don't really think Napoleon will be proud of this little empire I claimed for myself. Not sure what else to do here. We have turned France from a complete joke that lost to Germany in two months to a great power in Europe once again. It has a little bit of an empire here, with Italy and Germany as their puppets, but I don't think we can really rise above being the United States little whipping boy, because they kind of dictate everything. <clears throat> I mean, we can, but I don't really have the patience for that. We're also stuck in a war against Japan until the end of 1945 most likely, which does give me ample time to blow up against the Soviets. But the goal here was to defeat Germany, so I'm sticking with that. That will be the end of the video. Sorry for it being rather short. There's just nothing really to do here anymore. Thank you for the view. I hope to see everyone in whatever else I plan on doing. <laughs>